What's up guys, this is uh, GR Pace here. This is a video for re request on my BIOS settings for my overclock. So let's just start. For the, uh, when you go to the AI tweakers, which is where you want to do all your uh, overclocking, you're going to want to go to the, for me, I like the XMP, but you can also set it to manual and set more things yourself. Um, I use Profile 2 because it sets the RAM at my correct timings as well as the uh, megahertz ratio now for the ratio I like to use 21 this is actually the highest ratio you can go on the i7 you want to disable speed step and set your uh, base clock to whatever you like um, I prefer um, 4 gigahertz so 191 times 21 would give you your uh, frequency and that's 4009 uh, and then you want to leave your PCIe frequency stock unless you're doing something, but you just want to leave it at 100. But your DRAM frequency is set up into things. So I don't want, I have a stock 1333 uh, RAM and I don't want to underclock it, but I do want to give it a little overclock. So 1531 is what my RAM runs at. I just leave everything else at auto. My DRAM timing is set up through the XMP. That's that's about correct for all mine. Now for voltage, this is going to vary. On a, you have a DO chip, you can you can bring the sound down a lot farther. And if you have a CO chip like me, which is the older chip uh, uh, model, this is, this actually could have to go higher. This is actually a pretty decent CO chip that it runs 4 gigahertz stable at 1.3375 volts so you could you're probably gonna have to raise that to about 3.6 or so sometimes just to get 4 on a CO chip and if you're using uh, what I like to do I like to keep my uh, QPI DRAM the same voltage as my CPU and for the PLL I really just keep almost everything on auto and it stays below the recommended values, which is nice, even when on 100% load. And uh, I keep my RAM voltage at 1.6. It runs perfectly stable. And now here at the bottom, I leave everything on auto, except for spread spectrum, because that's another uh, see, uh, power saving feature in PCI Express spread uh, spectrum. So you want to disable those. And then under your chipset configuration, it's going to give you another option to change your ratio. You want to disable C1E support. Uh, just keep hardware prefetcher and all this stuff on. You can disable virtualization technology if you want, but I prefer to use that for uh, Windows Virtual PC. Uh, keep that on. Keep everything on. Actually, for hyperthreading, you can disable that, and your temperatures will drop about 10 degrees and they'll get a higher overclock but you're paying for the technology and you probably want to use it um, and that's about it and you want to disable uh, all this stuff here so that's about all for my uh, settings and uh, thanks for watching and uh, if you have any questions let me know uh, once again I'm not a master overclocker but this works for me and uh, it works well and uh, thank you for watching. Uh